Hello, welcome to this video on PDS the Total. In this video, biology, we're looking at seed germination. Now, what is germination in the first place? We've seen plants when they're young, they're growing into bigger plants. What really happens and what causes that? So, germination is the process by which seedlings develop long seed embryos all right so it's a process by which seedlings develop from seed embryos all right and it is important to understand the structure of a seed and really what happens so let's first draw a seed or a monocotry donors a monocot seed. You know that a monocot seed has got only one cotridon. So, for example, maize. Maize is an example of a cotridon, a, mono, a monocotridon uh, plant. So, I'm just draw an example here. So, bear with me. The drawing may not be accurate, but I'll make sure it depicts something. Okay, so this is a structure of a maize seed. A maize is a monocot. So what we have here on the outside, that's what we call a tester. Wow, this empty space here, that's what we call the endosperm. Make sure you know the structure of this because at biology practical or just biology paper one theory, paper two, they bring this to so that they can label it. Then this part, that's what we call the cotridone. Then this up here, that's what we call the corrector. Wow, the one inside here, that's what we call the premium. The promio is what turns it into a shoot. And then we have this here. That's what we call a radical. A radical is what turns into a root. Then we have this outside here. We call it Kohiza. Now, what makes the embryo? From the cryptal here up to Korehiza, that's what makes up what we call the embryo. What we are talking about here. So this is a structure of a monocot seed, for example, a maize. Okay. Sometimes they can also bring the structure of a dicot, a dicot donor seed. Which is which has the structure of this? I'll draw it as well. I'll draw it as large as possible. So to be able to see it properly. like that which this come there yeah something like that which this is a cotridon and which this is a plumio which this is a radical and in which this is a embryo And the outside one is a tester. 
So this one, sorry, I made a mistake. It's supposed to be the micro power. And these three of them, these two of them, the promenade and the radical, they make up the embryo. Just like what we talked earlier there. Because this is the structure of a dicot. For example, a bean seed. You know that a bean seed, when you open it, it has things like this which when you uh, like, like when you divide it into it becomes this so these are what we call the cotridons that's why it's known as a dicotridon because there are two of them now we before we go anywhere we need to look at the functions of the seed parts the first one is a tester the outside what does it do this protects the seed against physical damage so it protects the seed against physical damage is a lot more is also responsible for seed dormancy in certain seeds where it prohibits inhibition or the entry of water into the seed we know that it also brings about dormancy seed domains where more water can't enter into a seed hence a seed can't germinate into a certain state then the next one is a promio a promio is the shoot embryotic shoot it's the embryotic shoot it develop it its function is to develop into a shoot then we have the cotridon what will be the cotridon play now the this they store food apart from storing food they also store enzyme okay they also store what you call enzymes so let me talk about the last part which is types of germinations so that's where i'll end types of germinations germination we have two types of germination the first one is the epigeo germination Is the epigeo germination this is the type of germination where the cotridons are pushed about the ground by the elongation or due to the elongation of the uh, hypocoty so what happens if this is a ground all right and uh, okay these are roots so what happens is it So they are saying the, the cotridons are pushed above. So you can start here are the cotridons one, two. So these are the cotridons which are pushed above the ground. So this is your ground. This is soil. All right. Now what makes that is this the hypocotyl. All right, then this is a promio. All right, the one I was saying, the one that develops into a shoot. So this water brings. So the hypocotyl will cause the cotridons to rise up. All right. Now the promio is covered by the cotridon, and it comes out of the ground with a hooked shape in order to protect the dedicated root. So what happens? Uh, shoot soil. So it become it, it, it comes out hooked from the ground. Why? Because it has to protect the shoot. Right. The same cotridons are the ones that also carry out the uh, photosynthesis. Remember, they store food, also store enzymes. So this is a type of uh, uh, 
this is just uh, a epigeal germination. You can pause the video and so it's just a type of germination where the cotridons are pushed above above the ground due to the elongation of the hypocotyl. What are some of the seeds that undergo this type of germination? All right, the type of germination here is associated with, for example, sunflower. Okay, sunflower. Why? Because these are dicotridon, dicotridonous seeds, e.g., beans. Uh, sunflower this type of termination it only occurs in dye cots then we have the hypogee termination the hypogee germination is opposite to the epigeal germination in such a way that if this is a ground, the prune will come out, but the cotridons will remain underground like that. All right. Like that. The cotridons will remain underground, but the prune, the cryptal, the top part, I have to call the cryptal. So this is a type of germination where the cotridons remain underground due to the elongation of the epicotyl. Because of the epicotyl that comes out, the cotridons remain underground. It doesn't go out. The promu is covered with a sheet or a sheet which we call a crepta. The promu is inside there. So it's covered by this like that this type of germination occurs in monocotridonous seeds such as maize sorghum also millet So we end here germination part one. We have to finish a lot about germination. We have to talk about seed domains. We have to talk about the requirements here for 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 germination, and uh, then we also have to talk about certain uh, seed viability conditions for germination. Like I said, so like we talk about a lot. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Peter Setuta. I'll see you in the next video.